Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Welcome back. Welcome to Advanced Class 26. Class 26 already. Wow. Flying along, moving through the material here. We're going to start with a little review of what we saw in the last class, a very important concept. The second conditional, my favorite of all three conditionals. That's right, the second conditional. Yes, so here with questions, I'm going to tell you to ask me, and you will ask me in that conditional structure. For example, ask me if I would speak better Spanish if I were... Spanish. Kyle, would you speak better Spanish if you, you were Spanish? Yes, I would. I would speak better Spanish if I were Spanish. Okay, yes. I would speak better Spanish if I were a native Spanish speaker. I would speak better Spanish if I were from here. Sure, but I'm not. I'd speak better Spanish if I weren't a foreigner. Absolutely. Ask me if... If I would speak German, if I were German. Would you speak German if you were German? Yes, of course. I would speak German if I were German. Ask me if I would be better at basketball if I were taller. Would you be better at basketball if you were taller? Think about that structure. Would you be better at basketball if you were taller? Yes, I would. I would be better at basketball if I were taller. If I were taller, I would be better at basketball. We can change the order, right? The order doesn't matter between the condition and the conditional, right? If I were tall, or if I were, if I were taller, I would be better at basketball. I would be better at basketball if I were taller. If I were speaking only in Spanish, would you be listening? Again, in the, so here's the question. If I were speaking only in Spanish, would you be listening? In the same way, I can, I can change the order there. I can say, if I, er, would you be listening? Would you be listening if I were speaking only in Spanish? Probably not. You would probably turn the cha you'd probably change the channel to the Cuarenta Principales or something like that. Would you, would you be listening to me if I were speaking only in Spanish? No. No, I wouldn't be listening to you if you were speaking only in Spanish. Ask me, ask me if, if you would be learning English if I spoke French. Kyle, would I be learning English if you spoke French? No, no, you wouldn't be learning English if I spoke French, no. Ask me if, hmm, ask me if I would be an English teacher if I, weren't, uh, if I weren't a native, ask me if I would be an English teacher if I weren't a native, a native English speaker. Kyle, would I, would you, excuse me, would you be an English teacher if you weren't a native speaker? Would you be an English teacher if you weren't a native speaker? No, I wouldn't be an English teacher if I weren't a native speaker. I, I would not, no. Unless I had a fantastic level. There are some ex there are excellent teachers who are not native but who speak at a native level that's what's important and sometimes they make phenomenal teachers there are many excellent excellent teachers who are not native because they know what it's like to go through the learning process so that's fine as long as they speak at a near native level ask me if Barack Obama would be the president of the United States if he weren't a good speaker would Obama, would Obama, Barack Obama, be the president of the United States? Notice, the United States. If he weren't a good speaker? No, no. He wouldn't be the president if he weren't a good speaker. No. Because his speeches, his speeches are excellent. Really, they are. And I think that's what gave him the advantage. I think that's what put him over the top. Hmm. Ask me if Fernando Alonso would be famous if he weren't such a good driver. Would Fernando Alonso be famous if he weren't such a good driver? No. No, he wouldn't be famous if he weren't such a good driver. He definitely wouldn't be famous. 
Ask me if Bruce Springsteen would be so popular if he weren't such a good songwriter. Kyle, would Bruce Springsteen be so popular if he weren't such a good songwriter? No, he wouldn't. Bruce Springsteen wouldn't be so popular if he weren't a good songwriter. Hmm. Ask me if I would be hosting this show if I weren't a teacher. Kyle, would you be hosting this show if you weren't a teacher? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't be hosting this show if I weren't a teacher. Okay, now moving on to a little review of what we saw yesterday related to In Spite Of and Despite, and then In Spite Of The Fact That and Despite The Fact That. So a few things you have to remember here. You have to remember that In Spite Of and Despite are the same. They mean the same thing. And In Spite Of or Despite it's followed by a noun. Okay? A pesar de. Followed by a noun. Then, when we add the fact that, then we have despite the fact that, or in spite of the fact that, plus subject plus verb. So again, the, the example from yesterday. In spite of the rain, I went to the park. Despite the rain, I went to the park. In spite of the fact that it was raining, I went to the park. Despite the fact that it was raining, I went to the park. Now, similarly to the conditionals we just looked at, the second conditional, the order doesn't matter. I can say, I went to the rain, uh, I went to the rain, I went to the park despite the rain. I went to the park in spite of the rain. In spite of the rain, I went to the park. Despite the rain, I went to the park. It's all the same. The, the order doesn't matter. But if I say the fact that, in spite of the fact that it was raining, I went to the park. I went to the park in spite of the fact that it was raining. Despite the fact that it was raining, I went to the park. I went to the park despite the fact that it was raining. Okay, no problem. So, again, with uh, being ill. So I was ill. Despite being ill, I went to the party. In spite of being ill, I went to the party. In spite of the fact that I was ill, I went to the party. Despite the fact that I was ill, I went to the party. One thing here, remember, we never say despite of. No of after despite. In spite of equals despite. Okay? Despite of, never. Nunca. Okay? I was tired, but I still went out for dinner. Okay? So here we can go with four, give me four possible sentences. In spite of the fact that I was tired, I went out for dinner with my friends. Despite the fact that I was tired, I went out for dinner with my friends. In spite of being tired, I went out, from, I went out with my friends. Despite being tired, I went out with my friends. Okay? I was broke, but I still went to the cinema. To be broke, to, to be without any money. I don't have any money. I'm broke. No tengo ni un duro. <laughs> I don't have a cent, we say. I'm broke. I'm completely broke. But, well, yesterday... I was completely broke, but I still went out to the cinema with my friends. I have generous friends, okay? So I could say, in spite of being broke, I went out with my friends. In spite of the fact that I was broke, subject verb, I was broke, I went out to the cinema with my friends. Despite being broke, I went out to the cinema with my friends. Despite the fact that I was broke, I didn't have a cent, not a penny to my name. I, w I went to the cinema. Despite the fact that I didn't have a single cent, I went to the cinema. Okay? Let's move on. Let's move on, folks, to our... Ooh, yes. You know it. You know what time it is. <laughs> expression of the day. Okay. All right. It's time for our expression of the day. 
What's going on? What's, what's going on around here? Nobody tells me. Nobody tells me what's going on. Nobody tells me about these new, new rules, about the new projects around here, what's happening. They, they just leave me in the dark. I feel like I'm left in the dark all the time. And that's our expression of the day, to be left in the dark means to be uninformed about things. If people make decisions and they don't tell you, but they affect you, they impact you, and you're, you're not informed about them, you're not informed about decisions or changes, you can say, hey, I've been left in the dark. To be left, dejado, dejado en la oscuridad, left in the dark. Don't leave me in the dark. Tell me what's going on. Right? What's happening here? Please don't leave me in the dark. Sometimes I get left in the dark about about changes. So some people want some make want me to make some changes to the radio show. Well, I can't make the changes unless you tell me. Don't leave me in the dark. Tell me what you want. Okay? Also, if you're having problems with this material, don't leave me in the dark. Tell me. Send me an email. Write to write in through your account and say, "Hey, I have a question for Kyle on the radio. I want him to explain this or that." And I'll, and I'll do it. I'll do my best to explain it. I'm here to help you. But don't leave me in the dark. Tell me what you want. Fill me in, okay? Don't leave me in the dark. That's our expression of the day today. Well done. Instead of, uh, continue, well, instead of taking a break right now, I think we'll go on. I think we'll continue with a bit more grammar. Instead of stopping and going for a, for a coffee next door, I think I'll continue. Rather than stopping right now, I think I'll continue. So, rather than doing anything else, I think we should talk about in vez de, instead of, or rather than. Okay? So, what do we have to know? Well, if we're, if we're talking about um, instead of, or rather than, both these cases, we're, fo- we're using this structure followed by the gerund, okay? Instead of phoning her, send her an email. This was the example in your student guide. It says, don't phone her, send her an email. She prefers emails. Don't phone her, send her an email. So, in vez de, instead of phoning her, send her an email. Rather than phoning her, send her an email, Okay? So, I'm going to give you a, a, a cue, a little, a little bit of information, and I'd like you to create the two structures first. The first one with instead of, and then the second one with rather than, because I'd like you to have a good agility with both these structures. Both are very, very common, okay? So, at home, as always, in both out loud, okay? Give me the structures. Let's go. Don't drive. Take a taxi. Instead of driving, take a taxi. Come on, it'll only be five euros. Instead of driving, take a taxi. Rather than driving, take a taxi. It's not expensive. Come on. It's easier. You won't have to park. Rather than driving, take a taxi. Instead of driving, take a taxi. Don't take the bus. Take the metro. Instead of taking the bus, take the metro. Now, there's too much traffic. The bus is too slow. Take the metro. Rather than taking the bus... Take the metro. Number three, don't cook it, buy it. Instead of cooking it, buy it. Instead of cooking it, buy it. Rather than cooking it, buy it. Don't punish him, reward him. What he did was, what he did was brave. Don't punish him, reward him. Instead of punishing him, reward him. Rather than punishing him, reward him. The same, right? Don't ask him, tell him. Don't ask him, tell him. Instead of asking him, tell him. Rather than asking him, tell him. Sometimes that's very good advice. You have a, you have a, a serious uh, problem, rather than asking someone about this a potential solution, tell them what you're going to do, you know? Don't buy it from them, rent it from them. Instead of buying it from them, rent it from them. It's cheaper, trust me. Rather than buying it from them, rent it from them. Don't use yours, use mine. Instead of using yours, use mine. 
rather than using yours, use mine. One more. Here we go. Don't call him. Send him a message. Instead of calling him, send him a message. Rather than calling him, send him a message. Vocabulary of the day. All right. Yes, it's time for our vocabulary of the day. The vocabulary today, our first word, la letra de una canción. Mm, very nice. This one is the lyrics. The lyrics. And what's very interesting about this, and it's it's very irregular, it's strange. We say the we say the lyrics to a song. Do you know the lyrics to that song? We don't say the lyrics of a song. We say the lyrics to a song. Do you know the lyrics to all the Bruce Springsteen songs? Do you know the lyrics to The River by Bruce Springsteen? I don't know all the lyrics, but I know some of the lyrics to that song. The lyrics to a song. L-Y-R-I-C-S. The lyrics. We often say the words casually. We should say the lyrics, but we often say the words. Hey, do you know all the words to that song? I can't sing it because I don't know all the words. I don't know all the lyrics. Okay? Umbral. Threshold. Threshold. Sticking my tongue out. Threshold. Threshold. Very good. Enterrar. To bury. To bury. Like buried treasure. To bury. Bien informado. Well informed. Well informed. Keep me informed. Un politico. A politician. A politician. Politicians work in politics. Yes, they work in politics. They are politicians. The people are politicians. Politicians. Very good. All right, very quickly, we're going to go back to this idea of rather than. Rather than is used very, very often to express a preference for one thing over another. For example, rather than drinking coffee, he likes to drink tea. And the example in your student gu guide is that. He says, he doesn't have coffee. He prefers drinking tea. Rather than drinking coffee, he likes to drink tea. He wants to go to the theater, not to the cinema. So rather than going to the cinema, he wants to go to the theater. Okay? So I'll give you a few cues here. Hannah doesn't spell her name with two H's. She spells it with one. Rather than spelling her name with two H's, she spells it with one. Yes. He doesn't take Saturdays off. He takes Mondays off. He doesn't take Saturdays off. He takes Mondays off. Rather than taking Saturdays off, he takes Mondays off. He doesn't buy Coke. He buys Pepsi. Rather than buying... Jared, rather than buying Coke, he buys Pepsi. I don't watch football, I watch hockey, ice hockey. Rather than watching football, I watch ice hockey. Very good. Folks, we are out of time. We are completely out of time, so I'm going to finish there, but I will start the next class with a bit of review of this, and I will spend a bit more time than usual reviewing this because we haven't had much time to practice. So tune in again for the next class. And I will continue with this explanation of rather than. So rather than finishing this topic now, I will finish it at the beginning of the next class. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>